All right, YouTubers, hello and welcome to another cocktail video recipe. So this is the second one of these um, I've ever done. So video before was a um, zombie cocktail. It was just a bit of fun and had a few sort of recommendations. And recently on a video, someone said, you've got to try fireball and apple juice. And I also mentioned this on the recent cooking video I done where I cooked a steak. And oh my God, that was absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna replicate the recipe I done. The only difference is I'm using apple juice, not from concentrate. So I'm guessing it's gonna be slightly better. And also to add on this video, a supposedly wartime cocktail known as the French 75, which contains gin. And you can use either lemon or lime juice, but I'm actually gonna use a tablespoon of both, uh, just to see if it gives it a bit more of a kick. Because it is, yeah, it's one of those drinks where you sort of have a sip and it does give you a bit of a sort of, oh, you know, it's uh, yeah, you can just imagine people back in the day, you know, sophistication with the, uh, is it Fallout music? Would that be appropriate? I don't know. I'm not getting an answer from my cameraman. Anyway, at the time of this video, I'm also, as you know, doing a build on the Little Devil and Raw Mint. Uh, balance is 723 currently, so that's working away in the background. If we get a bonus, we may pan to it. So let's get started. I'm going to start with the French 75. Now, the ingredients it's basically uh, not to show the secrets, but uh, sort of you know, Googling around. And uh, yeah, I assume this is how it tastes. So it's uh, one tablespoon of lemon or lime juice, but I'm going to do both as you know. Uh, one tablespoon of sugar syrup, which is currently in the freezer. I'm now going to grab that one second. Yeah, sugar syrup, for those that don't know, is basically a uh, uh, one to one ratio of sugar and water. So I just put, you know, put the sugar up to 100 mil, pop that in a pan, you know, don't boil it, wait till it's warm, mix it all up, and then you're supposed to leave it in the fridge. This isn't completely cool, but for the purpose of this video, it doesn't really matter, does it? So. Anyway, I guess I'll get underway, and uh, yeah, like I said, this, this is being recorded, so I've got to remember everything I want to do, and if I have shaky hands, it's purely nerves, because this is, you know, high pressure this is doing this. Right, going to start off with the tablespoon of lemon and lime juice, so I apologise if my hands get in the way. So this is, uh, it's obviously not, you know, this is bottled, but uh, organic, lime, pressed juice, pressed juice, sorry, um, off Amazon. They are uh, very rarely, or when I've looked, they hardly ever always have stock of this. It's a bit hit or miss. It's rare when they sort of have a lot in stock. And I think I actually got the remaining sort of two or three bottles that were available, but lemon juice is always available. So I don't know if that's just, yeah, infrastructure or I'm sure someone will be able to comment. So a tablespoon of lemon juice. And then we want a, oh yeah, this also contains gin. I don't think I mentioned that. If I did, I apologize. So we also want a tablespoon of the simple syrup or sugar if you like. And then we want 50 ml of gin. Brand of choice here is uh, Warner's. Never tried this one. Fresh, zesty, and fragrant. Not that this drink needs any more zestiness due to the uh, lemon and uh, lime juice. So 50 ml, so I'm measuring this out to 30. We're gonna do accurate measurements here. And then pop that over the other side with a little ding. is 50 mil. So now we want to get a couple of bits of ice whilst I make a mess. Probably a bit more ice. We'll, we'll do one more one more cube of ice I think. And then I don't think I've forgotten everything. Pop that together and obviously give it a good shake until uh, the glass is nice and cool.
I think that'll do. You can obviously shake it a bit more if you want. And here we go. Here's the, uh, here's the money shot, the French 75. And obviously I need to top this off with champagne. So using a champagne flute. I'm just gonna uh, quickly give this a rinse while you uh, take all that in. And as always, hope you know, hope everyone's well and family's good. And uh, yeah, maybe if you're having a celebration, you can uh, try a French 75. Although I do believe it won't be to everyone's taste because uh, I've made this for a couple of people. I don't mind it myself. We've just got a generic. Uh, uh, oh, Tesco Finest, I think this is like 20, 20, 20 quid or something, 22 pounds. So generic champagne, not using a vintage. Uh, I, I do wonder if you can use a rosé for this recipe, but I've yet to try it, so can't comment on that. Now, here we go. Let's see if I can open this. I've got slippery hands, so I may have to uh, just give it a, a little bit of a shake. I need a I need a better grip. One second. Let's use a tea towel. Not not very uh, sophisticated. This. Oh, here we go. It's going. It's going. It's going any minute. There we go. Oh, that was a uh, way. There we go. Right. Now, what you're <laughs> bit of a fail. What you're supposed to do is put a little bit in my shaky left hand and just let it settle a bit. You know, just let everything. Settle down, especially after that explosion. And I guess, are you supposed to hold it like this? They'd usually hold it like this, wouldn't they? If we pan out a bit, it'd be like, a, yeah, hold it like that. There we are, sir, madam. There's your French 75, the, uh, the wartime cocktail. And yeah, I will say this, if anyone tries it or has tried it, you'll agree incredibly zesty uh the color wise yeah very sort of like dark green doesn't look entirely sort of like pleasant um but i think you know you just got to take yourself back to the time you know apparently this was a popular cocktail of its day and uh, just you know whack a bit of music on in the background and just uh just enjoy really so i'm gonna have a sip of this and uh give you my verdict i'll see if it's any different from last time so i don't think i've ever had it with lemon and lime juice. I've usually just had one or the other because I haven't, you know, had both bottles at once. Oh yeah, that's uh Okay, with the lemon and lime, that's a completely different drink. I mean, I can drink that. I wouldn't recommend having more than three in a night because it's quite a strong flavour, um, especially I'm on an empty stomach at the minute, and you really it feels very acidic. I suppose you know, grapes with the lemon and lime. It's it's gonna it's gonna yeah, it's got a kick to it. It really has got a kick. So cheers, cheers. Mmm. Yeah. So I've got to drive in a couple of hours. So I'm obviously not going to have a wolf. Yeah, I'm not going to have any more. Yeah. So out of ten. I guess you've got to look look at it as a from its era sort of drink, you know, back in the day. Um, you know, it's it's drinkable, but I wouldn't want to have large amounts of it. So maybe like a, mm, I give it maybe like a three or four out of ten. Pro probably me as a four because I do like my drinks, and there's just something about it. It's different. It's unique. But anyway, feel free to try that, or just don't if that's put you off already. Right now, moving on to the next one, which is absolutely delicious, is uh, known as the um, apple pie on the rocks. Now, I've only done this drink two or three times, so I've got to remember. It's, it's pretty simple, but just got to remember the measurements. I oh, know this will be easy. Right, so fireball. Obviously, you can use any cinnamon whiskey. Oh, and I got a couple of tips from uh, this channel called Vegan Yak Attack, by the way. So. Yeah, tips on uh, how to, um, you know, put brown sugar on the rim. Pretty simple, but yeah, I didn't even think of doing that, so um, not to steal their ideas. Right, so the shaker is nice and clean. So, pretty simple. What we want is uh, 40 mil. You can adjust this, obviously, to your preference, but it's quite... It's, you can't even taste the alcohol in it, it's so sweet. So what I've been doing, 
is a 40 ml of uh, cinnamon whiskey, AK Fireball in this case. And uh, as you can see, probably see in the background, you, vanilla vodka, that's what you want, vanilla vodka. Um, I wasn't sure if the shop, or Tesco's, should I say, had vanilla vodka, but they did. Um, so yeah, you want to match that with your same amount of cinnamon whiskey. I think I'm doing this right. And uh, is that is that it? That can't be that simple, can it? Have I forgotten something? No, no, I haven't forgotten anything. Then you want a bunch of ice. This is how simple it is actually, but it's absolutely beautiful. Bunch of ice. And then you basically top that off with apple juice. Now, like I said, I've never tried this with fresh apple juice, or should I say not from concentrate. And uh, while we're doing that, we're just gonna give the glass a, a, a little uh, edge of a brown sugar. Now this was sort of the easiest method I found, or this was the tip that was given. I guess this is optional, because um, it does make it quite sugary. Look at that, look at that. Brown sugar on the rim, very professional. So I'm now going to give the stirrer a shake. And uh, you can use a cinnamon stick uh, for this cocktail, but I'm not going to bother. Like, you know, it's you've got the fireball, you've got the cinnamon whiskey, you know, do you, do you really want another bit of cinnamon? It's just more for looks, really. So, yeah, if you want to impress your friends and family, bung a cinnamon stick in there, but I'm not going to bother. I'm just doing this drink just for the video. All right, here we go. That's cool enough. Now, if you, if you have a look, it's supposed to be quite frothy. It is frothy. That's exactly how it's supposed to look. So, yeah, sizzling away there. And we're now gonna pour the apple pie on the rocks in there. And then to finish it off, a couple of ice cubes. And then just top that off with apple juice. And honestly, you can make you you know you could double down on the shots on this. You could make it as strong as you want. I, I don't. You really can't go wrong with this one. Like I couldn't believe how nice it tasted. And just not being able to taste the alcohol is is quite dangerous. And I'm just going to start this bonus in the background. Don't worry. Yeah, not being able to taste the alcohol is very dangerous. But uh, I'll give you my review. I'm just going to have a couple of sips. Got got to drive in a couple of hours. So. I mean, it's just ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. If you like something sweet, wow, that's so much better. Tip, by the way, use apple juice, not from concentrate. That's the first time me trying that. If, if you're going to have a treat every now and then, not have too much of these, 9 out of 10, easily. That's, that's like one of my favourite drinks ever. So more than one person recommended this to me. Thank you so much. They said try Fireball and apple juice. Done a Google search, found this apple pie on the rocks with, you know, um, vanilla vodka, which I don't think anyone recommended. They might have done, I apologize if you did. But that is absolutely gorgeous. You cannot taste any alcohol in that. I reckon you could double down the shops and still not taste alcohol in that. I'm not saying that's a good thing, obviously drink, drink responsibly, but you know, wow. That's just so sweet. That is actually absolutely beautiful. So there we go. Thanks for watching. Like I said, three or four out of 10, nine, 9 9.5, maybe even 10. I mean, for what it is, I, I, you could give that 10, put a cinnamon stick in there and present it a bit better. You know, that's a 10 out of 10 if you bought that in a bar or something. And uh, the bonus in the background on 40p steak just paid £2.40. So there we go, that's that. And yeah, there we go. Uh, any more recommendations, guys? I'd love to hear it. But that was the... French 75 and the apple pie on the rocks um, presented to you by uh, the uh, most amateur uh, yeah video maker bartender slash cocktail maker doing silly little videos so yeah thanks for watching any recommendations for future much appreciated and uh, yeah drink responsibly and uh, Take care, thanks for watching. Get in there.